So you might have noticed that the look of this channel has changed a little bit. The channel is different. We got a new banner, but I assure you it's still the same channel. However, the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to go over the reason I'm changing the channel name. And also I wanted to address something that is going to be new on this channel. And uh, that'll be the second half of this video. Hopefully you stick around to then because I'm super excited to start this next evolution of this channel. So let's get into it. So the biggest reason for this name change is because the word amateur coder made it seem like I'm an amateur. I've had this thought before and even when I was making the channel name I was like I hope this doesn't come across that I'm a beginner. This was brought up by a couple of friends last week and I think it's just time to change. Now there's nothing wrong with being a beginner. That's why this channel is here to help you out. And I know I personally still have a lot to learn in a lot of other fields. I'm definitely a beginner in some of the fields for example machine learning I have no idea. But I have graduated with a computer engineering degree and I am a senior software engineer at a Fortune 500 company where I've been working there for two and a half years now. And also I've been working with Flutter since before it got actually released. And before that I was working in mobile app development and creating websites and stuff like that. So I do have a little bit of experience in the coding world, I guess. So the idea was to take people that are amateurs or beginners and take them into being professionals. I think that kind of got lost in the name and Amateur coder didn't really work. Hopefully you stick around with this new name and not leave me now. <laughs> However, the idea for the channel is still the same. Whether you're a beginner or a professional, I want to help lift up your skills and, and teach you the topics in a very easy to understand and deep way. So my idea isn't necessarily to make tutorials by that name. When I hear the word tutorials, I think of just showing you step by step how to do a specific thing with code. For example, a lot of people on YouTube, they teach you how to just make something work. They don't necessarily teach you the deep meaning of why it actually works that way and help you really understand the topic. And that's what my goal for this channel is to really deeply teach you about each topic that I present. So like I keep reiterating on this point, the goal of this channel is to teach in a professional and deep way so that you actually understand what's going on and you'll be able to solve the problems that you run into a lot more easily. Now with that comes the next point. To keep going down that goal, I want to take the next step. I want to cover more general coding topics, not necessarily Flutter specifically. Now before you click away, Flutter is not going anywhere. Let me just explain what my plan is. So a lot of the questions that I've gotten on this channel aren't necessarily Flutter specific questions. A lot of the questions I get could be solved if only the person had good quality code fundamentals. Dart is very similar to Java and C Sharp as well as many other object oriented programming languages. Having your coding fundamentals very solid would help you would help you be an even better Flutter developer. And if you have to move to a new technology because Google stops supporting Flutter or something like that, you'll still be safe. So like I said, we'll be covering more general topics, not necessarily Flutter related directly. However, understanding those topics will help you in your Flutter journey as well. But that doesn't mean the actual Flutter content is going anywhere. If you remember about a couple months ago, I used to be doing two videos a week. I stepped down to one a week because it was just getting a little too much, but I'm ready to get back up to two videos a week. So the plan currently is to try to do half and half with Flutter content and general coding topics as well. And I think doing that will help everybody step up the level of their code. And also I'll probably learn a ton too. So I also wanted to present to you how I'm going to go over those general topics and what I'm going to kind of follow. So there's this great open source university for computer science available on GitHub. This is a repository. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But you see it's super popular, has almost 70k stars, 10k forks, and 4,000 people watching it. So this OSSU is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but haven't really found the time. And I think this is a really great opportunity. So what it is, is just like it sounds, an open source university that covers a bunch of computer science topics. This whole curriculum is free with online courses, that kind of guide you through the learning process of every single topic that you need in order to have a four year degree for computer science. So it goes through a ton of topics here like introduction to programming, computer science, math, into advanced applications and advanced theory. Now, those of you that are a little bit more advanced, the beginning might be a little bit boring because the introduction to programming, I'm sure a lot of you already know the topics. However, even I know there's probably something in there that I don't fully remember or maybe I just forgot about and I'm sure there's going to still be something that I learned from that course. But I want to go through the whole course to make sure I have a complete resource starting from the beginning so even beginners could 
go along with this and hopefully learn a ton. And before we start, I don't want to take away anything from this repo. This is a great repository. If you really want to truly learn, definitely go to this repository and take the course yourself. They have tests you can take, projects to do. We're just going to be going over the topics in a quick 10 minute video per week. So if you're really interested, definitely take the course. If you want a quicker but more shallow learning of the courses, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, I think this would be great if you do take the course. If you want a quick recap on a topic, my videos would be great for that too. And then lastly, I wanted to go over the topics because there's some really interesting stuff here. So we have Python for everybody, introduction to computer science, blah, blah, simple data, complex data, calculus, all that stuff, probability, core math, CS tools, introduction to computer networking, algorithms, data structures. And then this is my favorite section of all. Databases, modeling and theory, machine learning, computer graphics, and there's a whole advanced section where it would be more like a master's degree maybe. But here we could learn about compilers, software architecture. And then this is the section that I focus a lot of my university studies in with computer architecture and computer organization. These two topics really interested me a lot. Then there's some more advanced theory with game theory, some big data, internet of things. And there's a ton of great topics in here that I cannot wait to learn and cover. So those are the two announcements. So like I said, Flutter is not going anywhere. I actually have a ton of videos planned and I'm actually thinking about creating another series like the book club app series where we build a complete app from scratch. So let me know what you think about that. But I'm really happy about the changes. The new channel name I think is gonna work a lot better. And I think this new direction we're gonna go with with more solid fundamentals of programming is gonna help a lot of you become even better developers and even better Flutter developers at that. And I hope you enjoy all of it. So let me know your thoughts about these changes in the comments. Make sure to like and then subscribe if you're interested in these topics. And thank you for watching.